Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good Thursday in the markets. March 2nd, we're going to look at some technical analysis. Talk about what happened here with SPY. Why did it just rip like crazy? Um, look at BBY. A little bit of GameStop. Some of the options trades. Futures trades I did. Mac gas. Elbiz still on the list. Sub up, like up, comment down. Happy money sticks around. And follow us on Twitter at HappyMoneyYT. As well as our Discord server. Link for those are both in the description. Spy was looking um, pretty choppy today. It had a gap down. Initial jobless claims came, claims came out close to expectations, but not great. Um, gap down and then kind of chop rallied up a bit and was just hanging out here. And then all of a sudden we just got crazy volume and just algo printing the greens. And I believe this was from Bostic saying, talking about pausing interest rate hikes this summer. And we've just been on a moon mission since then on SPY. This is crazy. Just out of nowhere. Changed, changed everything up. Changed up uh, a lot of TA. We're looking on a daily candle now. It looks like a huge engulfing candle. So rally might continue. And we're still in a downtrend, but at least a big bounce up to maybe one of these resistances. Probably 400 area we look at. Uh, so that's maybe what's going to happen. And we do have this RSI divergence on the hourly. And it's kind of on the four hour too. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna be in a little quick little dead cap bounce, bear market rally for maybe the rest of this week. Um, I didn't really, I did a couple small trades and just got out quick cause this just ended up being choppy. And then missed this, I got tied up here. I, was bit, I wasn't on my computer and then I saw this bull flag and I called it out and I just couldn't pay attention and it kept going. I'm like, oh man. Then I took a couple shorts here and took little losses um so i mean it's still kind of bull flagging but we'll see you're heading both candle back here now that big wick up there but it's pretty strong man it's pretty strong so might just keep rallying might have a gap up by tomorrow um my bearish play on gme it's just it's moving so slow i mean it's had pretty good relative strength today and then uh I actually closed it out once it started rallying here midday for no reason really. Uh, a little bit was on this spy pump here at 12.25. So you kind of can see that right here. Spy was pumping a bit. Jimmy was pumping. AMC had a little move. And I just with the relative strength that it's showing, uh, I decided to close out that, that bearish play well. Still profitable on it. So I closed that out and then I did get some, did get some calls for earnings. So they're end of March. 18 and a half strike calls. Got a few of them, nothing crazy. Uh, TA wise, it looks like we're still gonna be coming down to the 16, 15 range at least, kind of retesting the support. But you never know with GME, like, you know, it could just turn on one day. So um, seeing that relative strength today made me think it's maybe, maybe not gonna get down there, but uh, realistically, it looks like it probably will. I don't know, I get shaken out of, <laughs> plays on GME so quickly and just think it's going to go crazy. Um, but that said, I mean, it's low volume. It's it's not it's not a whole lot different than what we were seeing. So even this spy pump here hasn't done anything on GME. Just that midday, some weird stuff. Uh, Hellbiz had a big rally, extended hours. So after hours, it rallied up 10 and then like 20 something percent. It came all the way back down at open. And then it's kind of rallied now midday so still very strong price section here above VWAP BBBY up a lot again not a lot but this is pretty good I mean 6% is not bad um, not bad at all so not a huge huge short squeeze like some of you might be expecting right away which won't necessarily happen consolidation down here would be great um, you know, even just a little grind up and then consolidation at a higher level, which could happen. Uh, but yeah, looks looks good. I bought, see, I think I got a thousand more shares today. I wanted it to come down so I could get more, but it never really did. It just kind of showed strength most of the day. I was expecting kind of a move back to like $1.50 and maybe even this $1.48. But uh, yeah, the lowest we got today after I guess after open open we got it to $1.50 but after that the lowest it was was 15 19 
and that just held up. So had a little little spike here, end of day, made a new high, but it rejected it. Uh, volume was really low on the day until right here, 250. So daily volume today still though is gonna be pretty low, I think. We've got about 25, 35 minutes to go. And we're, yeah, we're at, we're just about yes, yes, half of yesterday's volume with only 30 minutes left. So definitely low volume today or lower, which is kind of strange. Um, but, uh, oh, did I do more cash occur puts today? I did, I think I did. Yeah, I opened up more cash occur puts. We'll go over the trades. Um, just farming theta and making gains while it's just kind of consolidating or trading flat more or less. Um, and I might open up a lot more shares than do cover calls in it on like half of them. So we'll see. I'm kind of just doing that with cash cured puts right now, but I might do it with cover calls also. I just, I hate doing cover calls and the price is so low. Uh, but yeah, if you're putting in more than, more than maybe usual for the trade to have a, have a little hedge to the downside is probably smart. Um, but yeah, everything looks good on it. I mean, setting up this kind of bull flag, like a bull flag, like ascending bull flag wedge thing, which is good. Inverted head and shoulders still here. Uh, four hours still bullish. Yeah, we got bullish MACD, green over the nine. Daily, we're still looking at just that engulfing candle yesterday and now this tick up on the RSI a bit. Um, next cross for me would just be this MACD to cross, so that could take some time. Or it could happen tomorrow. But um, looks like the bottom is in and the gap fill was, we got as much gap fill as we're gonna get. So maybe other brokerages aren't showing this, I don't know. This is still a pretty significant amount. I think this is legit, but not all gaps get filled and buyers were too excited to wait for the gap. Uh, yeah, so I'm a buyer down here. Gonna keep buying shares, cash secured puts. I'm not even cover calls yet, but might be doing them soon. Matt Gas holding up nicely. Kind of had some intraday moves, upside, downside. There was storage numbers that came out today. That was right around, I was here. That's what this drop was from, and then it kind of continued. The so storage numbers were a little bit higher than expectations. So greater supply means a little less demand. And so that was that, but it's still holding up very well. Uh, volume is decreasing here, which might not be a good sign. So I haven't added, I don't think I added any today, but I'll show you guys those trades. And then the future trades, I was just doing micros. I've got enough natural gas minis now that I can't do a big, a big ES. Um, I could sell some nat gas to do a big ES. It looks like a nice trade sets up, but I'll just wait. Look at this thing rallying now. So I actually went long somewhere in here and then got stopped out. I went long here, got stopped out. Yeah, so I didn't have patience to wait for this bull flag to play out, which is playing out now. Um, but yeah, there's GME, and here are... So there's, yeah, just S&P, little minis. Lost a few hundred today on the, just jumping in and out too much. Um, so yeah, I'm up to five mini natural gas contracts today. I guess I didn't buy any today. I think I bought one maybe after yesterday's video. Come on, I think I only had four. Um, cost based on it's 254 on there. So, um, yeah, I have an order to buy another one at like 251. So, yeah, I guess I'd be break even if it came all the way back down there almost. Yeah, I bought too many at high prices. I started buying them down here. So, I think about taking profits at times and then it just comes down and then bounces. I'm like, wow. Just, just, just buy more uh, dips. So that actually kind of sucks that cost base is so high. Huh. 255. Yeah, I guess I'm up here. All right. Um, and then the options trades. What did we do today? Oh, tops. I closed out of tops. It's probably doing well now. I didn't want to try and watch it. I was watching too much, too much stuff. Yeah, it held up pretty well. I closed out like here. Um, I was holding this support from yesterday, but I just didn't want to hold it in case it dropped down. But looks like it came back up and this probably will 
This is looking good again, so I don't think I'll get back in it, but this is a nice bull flag. Good looking little chart here. Oh, I still like that. Um, and then GME, I got, yeah, the 18 and a half. 18 and a half calls. I got three of them for end of March. And then close out of that put debit spread. And then I sold 50 cash cured puts on BBBY for next Friday. So that was $891 in credit and tied up capital. Uh, whatever capital it takes to tie that up. Doesn't say on here, but yeah, so those are up 25%. I got a pretty good fill today for 18 cents. And, you know, if Jimmy stays above dollar and a half by next Friday, these will be, you know, they'll be 900. So <clears throat> might close it out if it starts to rip and just turn that into shares. I'm not sure though. I've got a good amount of shares already. But that high, that high premium, I just want to be farming as much as I can. Uh, yeah, that's what I got. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on Discord. Peace out.